the kids will get their books from, from us, table, chairs, fan, lights, all these we will do. Because at the end, it's part of the, the project that we want to do. And, when the, and we are hoping at the end, first and foremost, we deliberately set up a library and it's only English books. They speak Punjabi all the time. Even though they have English lessons, but they speak Punjabi. We want them to learn English books so that at the end day, when they, they will grow up and they will go down there and come back. Hopefully they come back and change whatever that they have in their own place. The olden days, we actually could go back from uh, secondary school to your own pre for the first three months before your O-level results were out. So I went back to the school the first day, then that night my father called and said, I don't think I can support you for your education. Uh, if you want to, you can work daytime and study at night. Uh, that was the that was the one that crushes you, you know. Because I love school. I never like you use the word ponteng, you know. So that's when I cried. I said, no, this can't be that bad, you know, that I have to go in uh, stop school and work. The reality struck me when I had to stop school at the age of 16. Uh, I had to work, uh, then I realised, eh, I've got to work, you know, then I've got to study, you know. I wanted to get A levels, actually I wanted to get a degree. My friends were graduates by age of 25, 26, 27, and I was the only A level person there around, you know. I was a bit jealous, I must say, you know, I was, I was envious of them. But it, that's when I said that in the event that if I can make a really help, I would. Because it, it, I believe that no child should be you know, left behind or not given an opportunity to study. And if we can make the difference, why not? I still remember one case which stood out. I told today I will not forget that person. He was about 51 years old. He came to the office with a torn t-shirt and jeans which was torn. So I claimed for wages for him. When he got his $1,100, right, would you believe he wept like a baby? He put it in his eyes, you know, and he said, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. Why? Oh, I was heartbroken. But at the end of the day, I was, uh, it felt good that I managed to help somebody, you know, just $1,100, you know. You know, then you realise that, yes, there are people who claim who may not be genuine, but at the end of the day, I'm not here to judge. If I can assist them, I would. principle that uh, whatever that you do right hopefully the next person that you help it pays forward and one thing I tell all my participants we are never there to change the world just make a difference to one person as long as it's a positive impact on that person that person will go up and do what you have done